Hey guys, welcome to my new After Effects video. In this video, I'm gonna show to make this animation with After Effects. Let's get started. So friends, first one, let's go to text and let's write here motion and click selection tool and go to enable title action save and let's go to window, enable align let's back the character, change font size move to here okay, let's change space like this and go to align, click this icon and this icon for move to text to center okay so, let's move it down a little bit Okay, we can change a little bit font size. Let's change this 360. Okay, again go to align, click this and this icon. And also move it down. So in this time select this text and move to behind all these elements and lock layer. First, let's select background and lock background. Select these right elements, move to right here. And first, let's move to here, and this, move to here, and this, this. I want to change size these icons. Let's select this camera, let's press S, change scale, and this change scale, magnify, and pen, and this. Okay, and let's change lump size. Okay, not bad. So close size. And first, select this first element. Let's press P. And make new pass in keyframe. Move it down. And go to 10 keyframes. For shortcut, you can use Hold Shift, press page down in keyboard. And let's move it up. Then go to again 10 keyframes. And let's move it down. Okay, select keyframes, make easy and less animation. Okay, select keyframes and hold Alt, move to right, go to graph editor, let's zoom to graph, and let's make ball graph for finding animation. Select this middle keyframe, let's move to left and this move to right. Let's see. Okay. So back to keyframes and in this time, go to here, select these keyframes, move to right, and go to first second, hold shift press S, and go to first passing keyframe, make scale keyframe, and go to back, change scale zero. Select scale keyframe, make easy. Let's see. Okay, select last scale keyframe, move to right, and select passing keyframes, move to left little bit. Nice. And let's hold shift press R, open rotation and make rotate keyframe, change rotation 6 and here let's change minus 3 and go to some keyframes, change 2 and last keyframe, change 0 select rotate keyframes, make easy or click F9 let's say again Nice. You can change rotation a little bit. Let's change this 10. And here, change minus 6 for more rotation. And this change 5. Okay, let's see. Nice. So select this lamp layer and press U. Again, press U for see only active keyframes. And select all keyframes. Let's control C for copy and go to first second select other elements control v and let's see nice so in this time select this layer o and let's press u and select passing keyframes go to last position keyframe and move to right this is very important select three passing keyframes and after select keyframes go to last position keyframe and move to write this object with keyframes only passing keyframes okay so select this layer t and press p again select passing keyframes let's move to right select i and press p select passing keyframes move to right 
and select layer all, press P, select person Q frames and move to right. And finally select layer N, press P and select person Q frames, move to right. So let's see animation. Okay, so I want to make step by step layers. Let's close all these settings and select this layer M. Let's go to 3 G frame, 1 to 3. Select layer O, let's move to right. Again, go to 3 G frame, 1 to 3. Move to right T, again 3 G frame, 1 to 3. For go to step by step G frames, click page down in keyboard. Again, go to 3 G frames, 1 to 3. And move to right this O. Again, go to 3 G frames, 1 to 3. Move to right N. Let's see. Nice. So in this time, select this text, let's unlock and control D for duplicate, select this first text, add name, original and lock layer, select this motion 2 and move it up and I want to six single text layers, let's control D for duplicate ok, let's hide other text layers, first this is M Classification 2 and let's select this origin, let's unlock for C difference. I want to change color. Let's search here fill. Let's use original. Okay, let's keep here red and lock layer. First select this M. Okay, M is good. And let's go to pen behind and move the anchor point center and down. Classification 2. Okay, next, let's enable motion 3 layer, let's double click left mouse, change right here all, classification tool, and let's move right, okay, and let's move the anchor point here, classification tool, and next text layer, motion 4, let's enable, let's double click left, right here T, click station 2 and let's move to right and move the anchor point down I will make scale animation and because I want to move to down all anchor points so motion 5 let's enable and let's left click right here I, click station 2 and move to right And go to pen behind, move the anchor point here down. Classification tool and enable this O. Classification tool and move to right. And move the anchor point again down. Classification tool. And finally, layer N left mouse double click right in classification tool and finally move to right and also move the anchor point down classification tool okay so let's make animation go to first second select this first layer and press s click this icon and change scale 0 make scale chi frame go to 10 chi frames let's change scale 110 go to 10 chi frames change 95 go to again 10 chi frames change 100 say chi frames make easy and let's go to solo okay so let's go to this chi frame and change scale 90 or change 85 Let's see. Okay, not bad. So, we can change this scale 105 and go to again 10 G frame, change 100 for more bones animation. Let's see. Okay, not bad. Okay, so let's unsolo, select these scale G frames. Let's control C for copy and select other scale layers and control V for paste let's see nice 
And right now, let's move to right three keyframes. Let's go three keyframe one to three and select this text layer. Move to right again. Go three keyframe one to three. Move to right again. Go three keyframe one to three. Move to right and again three keyframe with page down in keyboard. Again, go three keyframe one to three. Move to right and select these all text layers. Let's timing. Okay, let's select all text layers, move to right. And go to original and let's delete. Let's animation. Okay. So in this time, go to here. And first select this M. And let's select these text layers, move to left, let it beat. Okay. And right now, select this layer M. And let's go to Edit and Split Layer or Control Shift D. Let's delete. Let's see. Nice. And go to here, select this layer O. Again, go to Edit, Split Layer, Delete. And let's select this layer T and go to edit, split layer and delete, let's see, okay, and layer I, let's see timing, okay, go to edit, again split layer, delete, and layer O, again make split, delete, and finally select layer N, and split layer, delete, and select these text layers, Let's move to left for one keyframe. Okay, not bad. So, in this time, let's go to here and select this first text layer and go to stroke. Let's change stroke width like this. And go to stroke color. Let's select this eye drop. Select this stroke color like this. Okay, let's see. Okay. And let's go to color. Let's use yellow color for good style. Okay, so let's go to next text layer. Select this all and go to stroke width 10. Let's try change 20. Okay, and this chain 20. Okay, and let's use color like this. Or let's try white. Okay, not bad. And next text layer, let's change stroke width 20. And color, let's use this pink. Okay, and this text layer, change stroke width 20. And stroke width, let's use this color okay and layer all let's use this pink layer okay and last layer let's use yellow and also change 20 and this 20 stroke nice so let's select all these layers enable motion blur Okay, not bad. So, let's go to window, open animation comes as 3, open starter precoms, shape elements, and let's use particle fireworks and click add, close conversation. Let's see, let's move to here. First, let's move to here and like this. Okay, control D, move to right for here, again control D for here, again. Okay, let's see. Nice, not bad. So friends, thank you for watching my video and don't forget to subscribe to the channel, like video and please follow me on Instagram. Good luck.